Veteran Salute, sponsored by Devon James Injury Lawyers. Wednesday nights are the time for our weekly segment, Veteran Salute. It's our chance to honor heroes from this area and thank them for their service. Tonight, 27 News anchor Matthew Johnstone introduces us to Army veteran Rick Houston. Serving in the Army for a decade, military police officer Rick Husted would see not one, not two, but three deployments to Iraq. Rick started his military journey in Germany before receiving an abrupt change in directive. During the time of the Iraq and Afghanistan conflict, we get kind of in a different role, more like in a glorified infantryman role. So we were training to do all those functions in our job rather than the police aspect of the job. So in all, in 10 years, I maybe only worked as a cop in the police department for a year total time out of 10 years. So it wasn't a lot of police duty, really. After about three weeks of weapons and first aid training, Rick was sent to a new platoon in Iraq. I got assigned as a gunner when I first got over there. So I had my M4, uh, Mark 19 was a grenade launcher, and my M9 pistol, and I sit up in the turret, and I, just like you would you see in the shows, you're watching guard and try to pay attention to what's going on around you. Missions mostly consisted of convoy escorts, patrolling, or getting Iraqi police officers their gear and payroll. As a team leader during his second deployment, one of those missions saw Rick's unit getting hit twice in the same day. Uh, Anti-tank mine blew up next to my Humvee. That was the first time. Nobody got hurt there, but it blew right up straight next to us. We all halted, made sure we were okay, the trucks were okay, and we continued on. Later on, about a couple hours later, the fuel rod of an RPG blew through the back of my Humvee. It hit the A pillar, and then it hit my helmet right above my neck. It was thanks to some modifications Rick made to his seat that the piece of metal hit his helmet instead of the back of his neck. Very lucky, walked away, all things, all fingers, all toes, and every, no, everybody else inside the vehicle did too with minor injuries, uh, relatively speaking. Uh, a, a civilian had a split thumb, my gunner had some shrapnel in his legs, and my driver had a on her. Just before his third deployment, a family member's call would set Rick's sights back on the capital city. He was just getting in the academy and actually in the academy at that time. And he said, hey, when you get done, why don't you just come down here and be a cop also? Never thought about being a cop. Hadn't really you know, thought about transitioning out of the military to be a cop. But once he said he was doing, I said, sure. So three years later, three and a half years later, there I was back here in Kansas, finishing up my career at Riley and then uh, applying for the police department. Rick's been with the Topeka Police Force for 11 years now. He's also a member of the Topeka Gunslingers Motorcycle Club an organization that supports families of first responders through fundraisers and get-togethers. Working for you, Matthew Johnstone, 27 News. We highlight veterans in our community every week, just like Rick. If you know someone we could feature in this segment, please check the Veteran Salute section at KSNT.com. Plus, sharing their story isn't the only way we honor these heroes, because each and every week, the featured vet receives a gift. Take a look. The Devon James Injury Lawyer is here with our Veteran of the Week, and that's Rick Houston, who served in the United States Military Police for 10 years and did three tours in Iraq. On behalf of all of Kansas, thank you so much for your service. Thank you. It was an honor to serve. Veteran Salute, sponsored by Devon James Injury Lawyers.